Hi, this is Jonathan with Nimblehost, and in this video I'm going to explain how to add the pages you create in Armadillo to the main navigation of your RapidWeaver website. So you can see here that we have a very simple site that I've created in RapidWeaver. This is the actual project file, and this is the site live on the web. And you'll see that we have a single Armadillo page, and then we have a just another standard stacks page created in RapidWeaver. And also on the Armadillo page you can see that we've got a couple different pages. We've got the blog page and then we've got just a test page here. So if you would like to add the pages you've created in Armadillo to your main navigation here, you can do that through the online web administration panel which you can access through the login link here. Now I'm already logged in, uh, so it's directed me directly to the dashboard, but if you haven't logged in yet, you'll be prompted to log in. And once you've logged in, you'll want to go to the Settings tab here. Now the ability to move the primary navigation menu to your site's navigation menu is in this section, which is called Primary Navigation Menu. So we click this plus, plus button, to show the options and you'll see here that we've got four different options. We can hide the menu and then we've got two here where we can attach the menu or the armadillo pages to the main site navigation either before other items there in the menu or after other items in the menu. And you'll notice that when we select these options that a section displays here and it's asking for the main navigation container. Now this container is, if we go back to the main site, is the element that holds the menu here. And we need this information so that we know where to take these pages, uh, where to insert them exactly. So we have to know the name of this container. And when we know the name of that container, then we enter it in the settings tab here in the primary navigation menu in the main navigation container field. Now, depending on whether it is an ID or a class name, uh, you'll need to prefix the element with a pound sign if it's an ID, or a period if it's a class. And we're going to go ahead and look at how to do that right now. So we go back to our site, and in Safari, if you've enabled the develop toolbar, you'll notice that we have an option here to show the web inspector. So I'm going to do that, and up this, this little panel pops up. And you'll notice that if we uh, use our mouse over these different sections, you'll see that different sections here in the window get highlighted. So what I'm going to do is right-click this section here and se select Inspect Element. By doing that, you'll see that this particular section gets highlighted, and you'll see that this section down here in the code with the div ID of main contain menu container is selected. So I'm actually going to click this disclosure triangle here and you'll see that there's another element inside of that actually called menu. And if we drill down just a bit further you'll see that this is where our actual menu is right here. So this is the container that we actually want. The element that actually holds the menu items. And here in this case it's a div with an ID of menu. And so that's all we need to know. We just need to know menu. So when we go back to the Armadillo interface, to the settings, back to the primary navigation menu, I'm going to select attach menu to site navigation before other items. And then here I'm just going to type in a pound sign because it was an ID and it was just menu. So I'm going to type in menu. And all we need to do now is just save settings. Our settings were successfully saved, and if we go back and visit the site, you'll see that the two pages we had down here in the menu, blog and test page, are now shown in the main navigation. So this works great, um, and you can click on a menu item, it shows up just fine, um, and everything works just like you would expect it to. The only problem is, if we visit a page in the site, that was not created with Armadillo. And you notice here on this page, because this is a standard stacks page, 
that the menu is not inserted. And the reason why is because this page was created in Rapid Weaver and not created through Armadillo's online interface. So to fix that, we'll need to add a little snippet of code to this page and then republish our site. So I'm going to switch back to Rapid Weaver, and you'll see here that we have the Armadillo page here, and this is our stacks page. So this little code snippet, which you can download from our website and install it, it's very easy to do actually. And uh, let me switch back to Safari here. You'll notice we have a fact page specifically for this, how to add the Armadillo menu to other Rapid Weaver pages. And there's a step-by-step -step, uh, process here that you can follow. And you'll notice that we give you a download link to download the, act the extras and the code snippet here. I've already downloaded this. I already have it installed here in Rapid Weaver. Um, once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to open the snippets browser. And you'll notice that we have an import Armadillo menu to other RW pages. So I'm going to open the page inspector for this page, just like so. And we're going to go to the header section here and then down to JavaScript. Oh, excuse me, actually header. And we're going to drag this snippet here into the header tab, like so. And I'm going to size this a little bit larger. Um, so that we've got a little bit more space to see how things are. And you'll notice that um, there's actually a note here to place the snippet in the page inspector header, header, custom header field, which is where we're at. We're in the header section, the header tab here, and in the custom header field. So we have the code snippet where it's supposed to be. And then you'll notice that we've got two lines of script here. Here's the first, and here's the second. And you'll notice we have in big large capital letters to enter the URL to your Armadillo page here in both places. And that's exactly what we need to do. Um, if I switch back to Safari, and you'll see that um, after we have opened the snippets browser and we add the snippet to the custom header field and to type in the URL to your Armadillo page. So let's find out what the Armadillo, the URL to the Armadillo page is. So I'm gonna open that page, and this is the Armadillo page and you'll see that this is our URL displayed here. So I'm just going to copy this. And but before I actually go back and put it into Rapweaver, I'm going to check our directions again. And it says to type in the URL and repeat the process. And it, we have a little note here for step eight. The URL of the Armadillo page should be in a format like this. And it says to not include the HTTP portion and also do not include the file name and the extension of the page itself. And so that's going to come in handy when we actually do this. So I'm going to switch back to Rapid Weaver and highlight this section here. And I'm going to delete it and then paste in the code. Now you'll notice here, if you remember what the direction said, that we don't need the HTTP portion because as you can see here it's already been entered so we can remove this second one here like so just like that and also it says do not include the file name and the extension of the page itself such as index.php so you'll see here that we don't need this portion so I'm gonna delete it like so and that's it that's all we need and you'll notice that the actual part that we are copying is just this right here. And so I'm going to copy that and then enter it here, like so. Just like that. And now all we need to do is to publish our page. And I'll go ahead and close the page inspector and close the snippets browser. Rapid Weaver has already finished publishing. So I'm going to switch over to our page again. And let's go to the stacks page. And you'll notice now that the menu gets added exactly like it's supposed to. Even though this is a page created in Rapid Weaver, not Armadillo, the menu shows up exactly like it's supposed to. And of course we go back to our Armadillo page and the menu items show up there correctly as well. So a couple of key things to remember here when we're adding the snippet. I'm gonna open the page inspector again. You'll notice here that we directly copied the URL from the website 
And the importance of this, uh, it's really important that these URLs match exactly. You notice that there's no www here. Um, and that's really key because how the code snippet works for security reasons, these URLs need to match exactly. So if you've tried adding the snippet and it's not working exactly, make sure that the URL matches exactly. It should match the URL that you've entered in the site setup dialog box here. You notice that we've entered in HTTP minicast.org for this example, and these need to match exactly. So that's the first thing I would check if you're running into any problems. Also, um, another possible reason why things might not be working is depending on the structure of your site, let me open the page inspector here, you'll notice here that in the code snippets on this line there's a little subfolder called files. Well depending on where your Armadillo page is, this folder actually might be named different. Um, it should work just like this in most cases, but if you have different pages in the same folder, then this files folder is actually going to be renamed to whatever the file name of the page is with an underscore. So let's say, for example, that here the stacks page is in its, is in its old folder called stacks. But if we, let's say we put it in the document root, the same as in Armadillo, um, you'll see here that we have a page conflict and that we need to rename this. And so we would name this rename stacks, like so. Now, when doing this, you'll notice that our page structure has changed entirely. Before, stacks was in, his, in its own folder. And so when we wanted to visit the stacks page, which we can do here on the live page, you'll notice that it's in its own folder here called stacks. And when that happens, everything's nice and clean but if it was instead something like this, stacks.html, then the file folder in the code snippet has to be renamed to something else. And in that case, it would be something like stacks underscore. And you'll notice that this stacks is going to be the same as whatever the file name is here. So that's the second thing I would uh, check if you're running into any problems with the code snippet. Uh, just as a brief overview, uh, real quick, Whenever you're troubleshooting, uh, the important thing here when you're at entering the URL is that the URL must match exactly. Um, if the URL that you've entered into the site setup dialog here does not include a www, be sure that it matches it exactly in the code snippet as well, just like this. And if you're still running into any problems, it's possible that the structure of your site is such that you need to add, rename actually, um, the files folder here. But again, you'll notice that this is all uh, described in the FAQ on our page here, frequently asked questions. If you have any questions or are unsure of how to get this working, then feel free to contact us. Hope this helps and happy weaving.